Hey, what's up everyone? So the best part about the Note 5 is its S Pen and in this video I'm gonna show you some apps for the S Pen so that you can do a lot of things more easily and have fun while doing it. So let's get started. The next app on the list is Drawing Cartoon. So while using this app, you can have a lot of fun. So with this app, you can create videos like this. So you need to create each frame yourself but you do not need to create each frame from scratch. You can make changes from the previous frame. In every frame everything is separated as elements so you can change its position or its properties for the next frame and this process becomes very easy while doing it with S Pen. It's a lot hard and complicated if you want to do it with your hand because there are a lot of elements. So you can even create your video from scratch and add your own elements. There are many items available within this app, many types and categories of items. You can even choose to add your own item. And for each element you can change its properties like changing its face. You can even add a face from your camera. So that's all about this app. It's a great app which works best with the S Pen. So the next app on the list is Scribble Racer. So it's a simple endless game you play with your S Pen. And the objective of this game is to stay within the boundaries which when played with S Pen is easier and much enjoyable. The next app on the list is just write. So it's a stylish based task organizer app and in this app instead of typing you can write your task. So in the main screen from here you can create folders. So you can choose the color of the folder and then write the name of the folder. Inside the folder you can start writing task. And just as you created a folder from the plus button here. You can create a task and you can choose the color and write it. And then you can also choose to set a reminder. From here you can set the date and the time. And in the outside here in the folder menu you can see how many tasks are inside and how many tasks has been completed. And for this app you also have got some widgets to view your folder or your task. So that's all about this app. The next app on the list is Photoshop Mix. So it's a mini version of Photoshop for smartphone so do not expect a lot of things from it. There are some basic tools included but it's still inferior to the Photoshop Touch app that was previously available for Android. But this app is free and the Photoshop Touch app was paid. So in this app from here you can add an image and then you have got some adjustment tools. So you can change contrast clarity, saturation and you also have got an auto fix option here. From here you can change the looks of the photo, you can apply a lot of filters, uh, there's some you can choose from and then you have got cut. So from here you can separate the object from the background completely so you can change its background. There is an auto option here so by pressing this option this app will try to separate the object from the background but it only works in some cases. Most of the times you need to do it manually and for it S Pen is the best option while doing it with hand. It's not accurate but with S Pen you can do it very easily. And from here you can add layers and play around with it. So that's all about this app. You, can, you will not find a lot of advanced tools in this app but for basic editing it's a good one so just have a try. The next app on the list is Skits. So this app lets you to write a note on pictures, maps, PDF file, web page to give directions or explain things. So once you open this app 
you can choose a format so you can choose to take a picture or write a picture from your gallery so you can write on top of that picture then you can choose a location in the map and write in it to give shortcuts or any other thing then you can choose a web page and take a snapshot of it and write on top of it and then you can write on a pdf file or write on a blank screen and this app is also integrated with Evernote so everything you do is saved online and synced across your devices so that's all about this app so that's all about this video if you want to know more Aspen apps to check my videos for Note 3 and Note 5 links below in the description box and annotated in this video as well and guys if you have any idea for an app or need an app for any business purposes do contact Neparka technology link below in the description box so that's all do subscribe for more videos and subscribe me on social medias and if you have any queries to let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching have a great day Thank you.